Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the most important topic ever when it comes to research as a student, and that is your research advisor. Whether you're in college, and especially if you're doing a PhD, you must do your due diligence. And the reason I say especially PhD students is because for them, it can mean the difference between graduating and not graduating. And so in this video, I want to provide with you four things that you should look for and ask yourself when you're looking for a new research advisor. And just a quick aside, for those of you who are new here, I occasionally like making school related videos. So if this video ends up being helpful, feel free to like and comment or feel free to check out the channel. There are some videos in there that could be useful for you. So number one on the list of things that you should look for when you're looking for a new research advisor is you need to observe what their management style is like. More specifically, are they a hands-on type of professor or are they very hands-off? I've seen advisors who are super involved in everything that the student is working on and they see each other daily and they're meeting regularly. I've also had friends who had advisors that met with them like once a month or once every few months. And so with those students, they have like a lot of freedom to sort of go in whatever general direction they want. But that also results in maybe less guidance and less supervision. And so there's no real right or wrong style. It's just whether that particular advisor's management style suits you. And you want to make sure that you and that professor or advisor match in terms of like what you expect from one another. Second on the list of things you want to look for in a new research advisor is what is that professor's experience in the field that you're interested in. You will have a very different experience working for an assistant professor who just started working at the school versus a veteran professor who has been at this school for like 20, 30 years and is a leading expert in whatever field it is that they work in. And the experience of that professor can greatly impact uh, what kind of experience you have as a student researcher for pretty obvious reasons. If you're working for a professor that's relatively green to the field, there might be a lot more responsibility on the student researcher to find their own topics and figure out what problems are worth solving and what problems are not as popular in the field. Whereas if you work for a seasoned and veteran professor, they might have many different opinions on what problems are important. They might have topics that they're already interested in that they want you to look into. However, because they are a seasoned veteran and they're so experienced in the field, they might be able to provide a lot more help and assistance in what kind of problems are interesting to solve and what kind of things to look for when you're trying to progress in the field yourself. A new professor might not be able to provide you know, the same amount of advice and knowledge since they themselves are pretty new to the field. And so that's definitely one thing that can impact your experience as a student researcher. Third on the list of things you should look for with a research advisor, and this is something that actually impacted me when I was a college student looking for research, is you want to make sure that whatever research topic that you are interested in studying is something that that professor is interested in having you look into. So surprisingly, in my particular case, there was a research topic that I really, really wanted to study that a potential advisor had probably like 10 years of experience working on. But when I tried to join, I found out that that professor was not interested in pursuing that topic anymore. And so it made very little sense for me to join that group because that professor was not interested in allocating any more money or resources or students to that particular topic that I was interested in. On the other hand, you might find a professor who has had absolutely no experience doing a research topic that you're very interested in, but is open to you studying that topic and being one of their first students to work on it. And so working for that professor becomes a great potential path for you to take. Although you have to understand that they might not be as experienced and we go back to the issue with having a professor who's very green to the field and a lot of the responsibility in making progress on that research topic is up to you. The fourth and final thing I want to bring up when it comes to finding a new research advisor is you want to look at the chemistry between you two and by that I mean how do you two get along on like a personal level. Now this is something that some people might not care about. To them a professor professor might just be like, you know, a supervisor or a boss and you don't really need to like get along on a personal level. It's just you go in, you do the work and you leave. But I think it is something that you should pay some attention to, especially if you're a PhD student and you're going to be working with them for you know, several years, you're going to have, you know, ups and downs and you want to make sure that, you know, the relationship between you two is like resilient to sort of the hardships that you're going to go through uh, as you work together to progress in your research. And having you two get along on a personal 
level, I think can help tremendously in the progress of your work. And there you have it. Four things that you should look for when it comes to a research advisor. There's even a semi-secret saying among PhD students that your advisor is in some ways more important than your research topic itself. And so it would be wise for you to spend a lot of time thinking about who matches you very well. Hopefully this was helpful. Like if you enjoyed this, comment if you have questions, and have a nice day.